Okay, let's talk about The Flash Season 9 and why it sucked. Season 9 was the last season of the series and it consists of 13 episodes. Throughout the seasons, the series had a lot of mysteries which were never revealed. For instance, how did Savitar get his pizza face? Where did the time rate take Zoom? Why and when did Barry save the crowd that Thorn wanted to save? Since it was the last season, I was expecting that the writers would reveal these mysteries, but the mysteries were not revealed. Instead, we get this. Like seriously, what the fuck is this? I was excitedly waiting and hoping that it's finally the time to reveal the tons of mysteries that this show had been keeping for 9 long years. I wanted to know Thorne's origin story, whether or not he was married or did he had a team etc. But the Flash writers were like, fuck the origin story, fuck all the mysteries, here is the piece of shit that you'll get from us. Instead of focusing on the mysteries, they started focusing on the side characters like Allegra, Cecile, Keon, etc. These five people you see in this picture are the most boring and pointless characters in the entire show and no one gives a fuck about them, no one cares for them except Eric Wallace. I don't know why he decided to dedicate three episodes in a row to these characters. It was so dumb. The main focus should have been on the main characters like Barry, Eddie and Iris. The Cobalt Blue arc should have been longer. I wanted to see more of Eddie. It would have been interesting to see how Barry and Iris deal with him. The reason why Cobalt Blue was such an interesting villain is because he had a history with Barry and Iris and it's a character that we feel emotionally connected with. So it would have been cool to see more of him, but the writers decided to finish off the character in just two fucking episodes. Even Red Death, who was a bland villain, got more episodes than Eddie did. And why the fuck did they make three filler episodes in a row? The season is already shot with only 13 episodes, so why? And only if these filler episodes were good, but no, they were super boring. Episode 6 focuses on this chick who was first introduced in season 4 and then was forgotten by everybody. No one cares about her now, no one gives a fuck, so why the hell did Eric Wallace thought that she was an important character and that it would be a good idea to bring her back? And then in episode 7, they focus on exploring Keon's powers, which again is pointless. We don't give a fuck about Keon, she is the most useless character. And why the fuck did they kill Caitlyn? What was the point of replacing Caitlyn with Keon? Caitlyn was okay, they should have kept her alive, she was the best and Keon was useless. If the only reason why they brought Keon was so that she can beat Zoom, then I've got only one word to say. Actually, I've got three. Fuck you, writers. And then episode 8 focuses on this clown. You know when the season started, I was hoping to see a Flash and Supergirl crossover. Flash and Supergirl get along very well and they usually do crossovers in episode 8. So I was thinking maybe there will be a crossover with Supergirl. They might bring her back one last time just for the fans sake. But instead of a crossover, this is what we get. A useless, pointless, filler episode. This was the last season of the show and it was our last chance to see both Supergirl and Flash together. If I were the showrunner, I wouldn't have wasted those three episodes where they not even focus on Barry but the irrelevant characters. Here's what those three filler episodes should have been about. Episode 6 should have been about how Barry saved the crowd that Thorn wanted to save and what was even Thorn's original story. Cause we never really got to see a visual representation of what actually turned him into a bad speedster guy. Then episode 7 should have been about Godspeed and Zoom destroying Central City just like we saw in the future news article. And episode 8 should have been either about how Savitar got his pizza face cause we don't know much about Savitar's history or a crossover between Flash and Supergirl or should have brought back Devo for a while cause honestly he was the best non-speedster villain in the entire show. The second best was Bloodwork. I would have never wasted these episodes. The season literally consists of only 13 episodes which is the shortest of all the previous seasons and you decided to waste 3 episodes out of it too? 
Also, there's something unusual about the finale, something that never happened in the entire show before. I don't know if it was intentional or if it was a coincidence, but every villain that was there in the series finale was defeated by a woman. For instance, Zoom gets defeated by Keon, Godspeed gets defeated by Cecile, who can somehow fly now, then Savitar gets defeated by Nora, and Thorn gets defeated by Allegra. So you see, every villain was defeated by a woman. Now I have no problem with female superheroes fighting against male supervillains, but you have to understand that the show is about Barry and not Cecile or Allegra or Keon. Therefore, Barry should have defeated the villains. The women can help him though, but only Barry should put an end on the villains. Even Red Death, who was supposed to be a male, they turned him into a female and her role was lame as fuck. It was a huge disappointment. And the three filler episodes I was talking about, if you notice carefully, you'll find that each of those filler episodes focuses on a woman. For instance, episode 6 focuses on Allegra Cecile's teamwork to rescue Becky, then episode 7 focuses only on Keon, then episode 8 focuses on this clown. So all of this is focused on women, which makes me want to think of it as some sort of feminist agenda to promote female empowerment. If you support feminism, that's great, but at least don't ruin a show because of it. Female empowerment should never be forced. Because you were forcing the female empowerment, the entire season got fucked up and we, audience, had to pay the price. I get it that females want equality, but I mean, you don't have to ruin a show to prove your point. One of the worst things about the finale was that all the villains were defeated very easily by these females and I think of this as an insult to the villains because remember Thorn was always one step ahead and Zoom once broke Barry's back. Who could have ever thought that these big bats will be defeated by some chick? There were some male side characters too, such as Chester and Mark, but they have literally done nothing in the finale. Mark was just standing there with Keon, he didn't use his powers to help her, and Chester died and then resurrected which was dumb. Episode 1 to 5, which was the Red Death arc, was a huge disappointment. I was excited for Red Death at first, and she even looked cool with her mask on, but everything started to go downhill after she took off her mask. Red Death is an awfully boring villain. And it's not even Red Death's fault that she is bad, it's the writer's fault. I'm not even gonna say that this season had 13 episodes, cause 3 of them were fillers. So let's pretend those 3 filler episodes do not exist. This would leave the season with 10 relevant episodes, out of which the first 5 were totally garbage and the other 5 were slightly better than the first 5 of them. There are only 3 episodes which are actually interesting and I genuinely felt emotionally connected while watching them. These episodes are episode 9, 10 and 12. Episode 10 is my favorite because in that episode we got to see what actually happened the night Barry's mom was killed. This was another mystery that we all had been excitedly wanting to get uncovered since season 1. I would give episode 9, 10 and 12 a 10 out of 10 and the rest of the episodes a 3 out of 10. The finale would have been better only if the villains had a longer screen time, but thanks to Eric Wallace for ruining it. Who is the villain now Eric? Now who's the villain?